One of the nation's most popular ski areas is worried about this winter, as a big legal battle might keep skiers off the slopes. Jane Wells is in Park City, Utah, with that story. This is the time of year Park City starts prepping for ski season, the profit engine for the small community. It's such a magical mountain and there's so much to offer. But the magical mountain is a mountain divided and there may be no ski season. You'll have a direct impact of hundreds and hundreds of employees who won't have a job. The bottom of the mountain at Park City Mountain Resort is owned by PCMR, run by a local billionaire named John Cumming. This is where there's parking and access in the bottom of the lifts. The top of the mountain where the skiing happens is owned by a Canadian company called Talisker. Currently, neither is letting the other have access to its property, which could hurt the whole town. The impact of the community could be somewhere in the realm of $180 million. So, you know, that's a substantial factor. Here's how we got here. For years, PCMR at the bottom of the mountain paid rent to access the top for about $150,000 a year. Then the lease lapsed and Talisker at the top found a tenant willing to pay a whole lot more, $25 million. That tenant is Vail Resorts, which also got the resort next door thrown in as part of the deal. The problem is PCMR still owns the bottom of the mountain. When PCMR realized what happened, it went to court. The billionaire at the bottom of the hill lost and faces eviction. But this week a judge heard arguments to let PCMR put up a bond while appealing the eviction so the ski season could go forward at least this year. Both sides say they want to do what's right for the community and they're in mediation. Ideally, the top of the mountain would like to buy out the bottom, but the billionaire down below has said if he doesn't get a fair price, he may just rip out the lifts and put in a winter sports park. Locals are tired of the whole mess. I just want the resort to be open. Uh, at this point, I, I, I'm not really concerned with who's going to be operating it. Just don't, don't shut us down for a season, please. Otherwise, with no skiing, it's the Park City economy, which may be going downhill. For Nightly Business Report, Jane Wells, Park City, Utah.